The wine that we're going to be tasting today is the Marvida Fair Trade Chenin Blanc 2022. On the nose, it has a beautiful tropical fruit profile um, with some quince, pears, um, even a little bit of melon and a really nice medium body on the palate with a lovely acidity to just round off the whole wine. Chenin Blanc from the Breda Clough is something that we really, really care about. It's a varietal that's quite special to us for the reason being that it's actually one of the highest planted varietals in the Breda Clough area. And we like to refer to this area as Chenin countries. The terroir typically found in the Breda Clough is quite unique. We are situated in the basin of the Breda River Valleys and we've actually found that a lot of our soils are up to four meters deep in big river stones. The soils are all beautiful alluvial soils so we need to control the yields a little bit and we also have to irrigate because it does get really hot in this area but we have a, a really unique slow ripening process that happens as a result of the really, really nice cold winters that we experience here as well. So we tend to start picking at about two or three o'clock in the morning, um, and that's just to ensure that the grapes are really nice and cold, and then the majority of the work is done before the heat of February and March sets in. So all the wines um, at Marvida are inoculated. We prefer that style, as we believe it gives us a beautiful, clear fruit purity and just a cleaner wine. If you leave the wine on the rough fermentation lease for a couple of days, it does tend to extract some really nice flavor profile or really nice flavor compounds. And we have seen that we can add a little bit of texture and body to the wine as well. So we try and leave it, if space allows during harvest time, we try to leave it for at least one to two weeks on the gross lease. I would definitely recommend drinking this anything between six to 12 months from, from purchasing. I would definitely want to be surrounded by my friends, hopefully around a pool of some sort, and just enjoying a lovely alfresco style lunch with some beautiful salads and maybe some fish or chicken or something light to go with the flavors of the Shannon.